Hello beautiful Pisces, my name is Jane and welcome back to Intuitive Energies and this is your extended for today. I post twice a day, I have timeless readings, please remember that, 9.45, usually in the morning, Eastern Time, same time at night. So, first one is to talk about the energies and then we have an extended at night. Um, whenever you find this video is when it's supposed to find you, don't feel like you're late to anything. There is a nugget of something in there for you. I talk in general terms, in other words, energy, so I make no fortune telling uh, kind of readings or predictions of your relationships or anything that's going to happen. I believe that we are here to experience those ourselves, uh, not to get a cheat sheet on how to, um, I don't know, see what's going to happen. If we could, uh, if fortune telling was a thing, we'd all have crystal balls in. Really, what's the point? Why would we be here anyway, right? We're here to learn. We're here to go through the experience and experience the contrast, the contrast of, of pain and happiness and everything that happens to us, okay? This is a beautiful playground for us to play in, to learn all kinds of different things, to learn the hot tears and the joy of bubbling laughter. All of those things, they're all part of our experience here, okay? So, having said that, I'm going to pull a few cards for you. I took the soul's journey here with me so that I could do some. I also have a daily healing, and I think I'm going to pull from that today. I haven't taken those cards out in a while. Ooh, oh my. Okay, so maybe they're going to prove me wrong. This is like relationships. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Well, actually, it's talking more about being attracted to the people who are in line with you and what um, and what feels good. I know this may seem blue, but it actually is purple. So this is perfect, Pisces. Happy birthday, if I haven't said so already. Okay, to anybody who is celebrating uh, today. Beautiful. This is this is a three-dimensional world in which we live. There is a sense that we are separate from one another and also that we meet by chance. This is an illusion. The people in our lives are drawn to us and are here for a reason. It is through sharing experiences and having relationship with others that we begin to understand ourselves. When someone appears in your life, you must see that what is not resolved or whole in the person and understand the lessons he or she brings home to you. Right? Seeing the perspective of everything. Okay? You draw others to you like magnets in order to learn various aspects of yourself. The people you have close relationships with on earth are usually members of your soul family. Right? I've spoken about this before. We come here kind of like in pods. Okay? We decide to come down with each other. And even the worst of people where you're thinking, wow, this person's an a-hole. Yeah, even that one. Okay? Um... You have chosen to incarnate together to help each other learn lessons. Even though it may not seem that way to you now, once a lesson is learned, don't be surprised if that person fades away, right? People in your life for a reason, a season, and a lifetime. I love this. This is like my favorite one now. A reason, a season, or a lifetime. And if you look back on your life, Pisces, absolutely you will see that this is in fact the truth okay so there you go okay okay this is soul solitude and it says, um, this is asking to give your soul some peace and quiet, okay? And this is a time to pause, a time to reflect. I feel that spirit is saying that you've done a lot of work, okay, recently. You've done a whole lot of work. I'll put it up here there. It says your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away. Not just from the noise of the outside, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet. A place for soul solitude. 
Okay, this is a time to pause and reflect, a time for you. We did have the Four of Swords this morning, and I feel that they keep putting that in there that it's important for you to know that you've just done some major healing, okay? You've come to an epiphany right now that you that has opened up a brand new way of thinking, but it also flooded in a lot of stuff for you to process. It's very important for you to take some time for you right now, okay? So, very, very, very important. All right. Love this one. The most powerful law in the universe. Every thought vibrates. Every thought radiates a signal. And every thought attracts a matching signal back. We call that process the law of attraction. The Law of Attraction says, that which is like unto itself is drawn. Vibe higher. Vibrate higher. Okay? See yourself as a peaceful entity, as somebody who's done a lot of healing. And imagine yourself continuing to heal. Feel, feel the healing energy going through you. And the more you send that out to the universe, the more the universe will send you healing, okay? Just like this morning, I'm feeling very much a vibe of peace. There are a lot of peace, a lot of recentering yourself. I really like that. I feel like this is, so that for that reason, I'm going to take uh, Katzilla. So where is she? Where is she? This is my mother, okay? Name is Catherine, but she went by Priscilla near the end of her life. So, um, and this is this is how I represent her as passing. And I don't know if you can get it, but probably not. But I swear to God, this eye is alive. Um, there were three of these on display, and this is it. It felt a little bit like one of those shows that you watch on TV, you know, and you're going, that one looks alive, you know, all <laughs> this one. The eye, even though it's painted black, it's painted in such a way that it looks, uh, it's probably the only thing that looks lifelike on this thing. But I swear I can see her there, okay? And of course you have this deck uh, that I, that's all animals and insects and I have no, absolutely no attraction to this, but I needed this deck. When I saw it, I bought it immediately and right in the first one I think was, uh, the strength card is the elephant and it looks very much like it's very, uh, so I knew it was her, okay. My mom passed in July, it hasn't been a year, passed in July of 2020. And uh, she's been very quietly strong in my readings. I can feel her watching, learning to be energy again. And now she is very much getting stronger in her help, okay? Two of feathers, decision directions, okay? The two of feathers is the two of swords. I just find that funny that they put feathers as swords. But, you know, hey, okay, feathers is air. Swords are air sign, so I guess it doesn't make it. It makes it makes sense in one way. It's just it's so far off of a sword. Um, so, right, you're balancing, okay? You're trying to balance stuff right now, okay? I feel like there's a standstill coming through, but it's mostly because you need time to recuperate, okay? And I find, too, that with this, it's saying that even though great things are coming, you've just been in a place where you didn't really know where you're going. It's like, um, what example can I give here, Spirit? Give me, give me something I can give. Okay. So let's say you've been living in a hut. It's the weirdest thing. Okay, you live in a hut and you have all of your things around you, okay? And you know what those things are and you're in decision on what to, I don't know, clean next in your hut, okay? And suddenly you walk outside, you blink, and the hut turns into a humongous castle with 50,000 rooms, okay? And suddenly you walk into there and... Uh, 
you would like to redecorate, but you're just not sure where to begin. And I find that this is what this is, okay? I find that this transformation is comparable to that, is that you went from a little bit of something that you really loved and were used to, but now you've walked into something much bigger. Uh, a lot of a lot of abundance, okay, whether it's spiritually or materially, I mean any way that you can see it. But things have drastically changed inside of you, okay, the way you perceive things. But it's also uh, sent you in, up, in an upheaval in certain ways because now you don't know uh, what do I do next, okay? So it may have felt uncomfortable, but now there's decisions to be made and you're like, uh, okay, what do I do now? Okay, so this little gecko, which is this what this is, okay, it says he's adept at moving between the worlds of the subconscious and the conscious, okay, um, and you're, bal you're tapping into the balance of forces to clear your mind, okay, bringing truth to light, okay, and you're accustomed to facing fears and preparing yourself for your next direction. Okay, it says you have the power to unleash the energies needed to deliver a clear outcome. Okay, speak your truth. Do not allow indecision to hold you back. Open your eyes wide so that you can see your options more clearly. Okay, and seek them from within. And have patience with yourself. Okay, there's a knowing within your higher consciousness when it's time to act. Okay, so again, this is like courage, courage. I'd be surprised if the elephant came out, right? The strength card, courage. So this is what this is saying. By the way, if you like this deck, I'm going to leave it. And even the, uh, the book is very, very nice. Okay, Ooh, that one wanted to come up. Four of feathers. Look at you with the four of swords. So solitude resting again. Look at that, and it's the bear. I love it. Sanctuary and rest. Absolutely. Okay. So this is talking a lot today. I get a lot of that. This is what I'm getting today. You get a lot of resting here. Look at you resting. Okay. It's funny because I had just seen the four feathers. Let's see what they say. Okay. A navigator in the dream world, Bear appreciates the value of rest and quietude. He instinctively knows how much downtime is needed to recharge. During this repose, Bear ponders and reflects within the realms of the subconscious, trusting in the healing process that a sanctuary brings. Introspective and strong, he is here to remind you that you have within you all the answers you need if you only pause and listen. So these cards are really saying the same thing, okay? They're saying the same thing, okay? And it says, if you feel overwhelmed, distance yourself from the situation until you gain back enough strength. Here comes that strength card again. Now I, now I know why you keep coming up, okay? Now the elephant does have to come out. Okay, Mom? The elephant has to come out. Uh, slow down and nourish your spirit. Be receptive to your intuition. By the grace of your inner sanctum, regroup and recharge. So again, this is, right now, they feel very much like the same card. Okay? Decision, directions, and take the time to figure it out. Go inside of yourself. Let your strength come back up and then go for it. Okay? Go for it. Okay. Wow. I love it when those cards come out. Okay, you have the love card. I like that. The four of shells. Another four. Soul searching and reevaluation. Okay, so again, okay, we're, we're this is the same thing. It just keeps repeating and repeating and repeating. So this is a choice and trust, okay? I'm not going to read this time because I am pretty sure that I know that this is about trusting yourself, okay? And having a choice and taking your choice and taking your time and trusting in yourself, okay? This is also about committing and it's about harmony and togetherness and committing to your well-being, okay? Absolutely. 
I love this card. This is so, so beautiful. The four shells, soul searching, reevaluation. That's the four of cups. Okay? That is taking your time, making the decisions. Okay? It may be seen as procrastination, but I don't see it like that. I want to see what they say for this one. Okay? Let's see what they have to say for this one. Okay. Innovative at using new approaches to solve problems. The crane shows to help you renew your optimism, bring clarity and insight. Again, right? Right? Okay, we'll guide you in taking the time you need. Here we go again, right? To renew your energy. Embrace something that you feel passionate about and you'll soon find yourself motivated into action. It's up to you to choose to see the opportunities that are right in front of you and to act on them. Rest and meditation will deliver a fresh mindset. Take this time to reflect and regroup and redirect your energy, okay? So they're very, they're really, I mean, gangbusters. Rest, meditate, rest, meditate, rest, 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 rest. Yes, we get it, okay? Rest and meditation. Got it. Okay. Okay. Seven of acorns. Seven of acorns is seven of swan of wands of swans. Very nice. Okay. And this is determination and stamina. Okay. This is you, Pisces. This is you. Okay. The knight of feather. Action and focus. Okay. So I do believe I'm going to put these there because this are your next steps. Okay. This is shown. This is you having had the power and done everything that you needed to do to move forward. These are going to be your next steps. Okay. You're going to focus and put all your attention on what you want. The Knight of Wands is looking for a challenge, an adventure. He's fun, passionate, he's into action, okay, and he's just really looking for that next cycle, that next move. The seven of acorns is being determined and having a stamina. It's the seven of wands. It's persevering and challenges. Both of these are talking about a new challenge. That's the recurring word in both of these cards. Okay. You're, you're going to be up to a new challenge, but you must take time to take care of yourself. Absolutely. Okay. You've got to take time and take care of yourself. Here we go. The Ten of Crystal. Stability and attainment. That's the Ten of Pentacles. That's the big, that's the big tamale. Look at this crocodile. Is that an alligator? I'm sorry if I make a mistake, you guys, because, you know. So this is achieving either financial wealth or just uh, prosperity. It could be emotional, spiritual wealth as well, okay? This is a card of physical security, and this is where you're going. I love the green that kind of pops out. Do you see that? See? This is where your heart is leading you, the green chakra. Very beautiful. It's leading you to stability. It's leading you to attain everything that you are hoping for, that you are wishing for. Okay? Underneath the deck is the Eight of Shells. Okay? And that's a quest and renewal card. Again, talking about having the balance. Okay, they're talking about both. It's kind of funny because this part is renewal and this part is about going on a new quest, okay? And this card on the bottom has both those words, quest and renewal. Either you've been on one and you need to renew or you're renewing and going on a new one. They both apply for you wherever you are right now, okay? Wherever you are going right now, this applies to uh, both of you, okay? So I'm going to take a few daily healing cards. These are very pretty cards. I haven't used them in a long, long time. Okay. Let's see here.
they're taking a while to come out. Ooh. Okay, any time now. Okay, maybe not. There's one that came out. We'll read what that is. Enjoy the process instead of always looking for the result. <laughs> Absolutely. And you have green in the back here. You see that just that slight green. Again, with the heart chakra, love it. There's green on this card. Right. So this is telling us to just, I, I feel the theme of just slow down. Let yourself heal. Okay, because what's happening here is that sometimes we just go and go and go. It's like next, 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 next. And this part is telling you, slow down. Slow down, think it through. Everything is peaceful. Everything is good. You've done really good work. And you're going to be moving on to the next step, okay? It's time for you to just relax, okay? So you sure don't want to give me another one. No, I don't think so. I think they're done with this one. Okay, fine. I'm going to pick some charms for you. Okay. So I can't see, but you can. So, let's take these. Okay. Right. Okay, so we were talking about the swiftness of, right here, the bunny. I have a bunny. Okay. So this is to remind you that even bunnies need to sleep. Okay. Uh, even bunnies need rest just such as the bear here, okay? It may look like that, and I know I've had bunnies, they're my favorite pet, okay? They sleep a lot during the day, and they're nocturnal. And you know, we associate them as fast, fast, like um, in, um, in uh, Alice in Wonderland, but really, uh, they're not always that active, okay? Even bunnies need sleep. So make sure to take good care of yourself, okay? The dragonfly. So beautiful. Okay, they want me to look it up again because I, I always see that as dragonfly, somebody who, um, uh, dragonfly is, is uh, a spirit visiting you, okay? And I still believe that because I have dragonflies stare at me. They just come up to me and they stare at me. So, but I, and I think it's always so wonderful. Okay, but they do symbolize change and transformation, okay, adaptability and self-realization, okay, and it's about an emotional, mental, and spiritual maturity, understanding the deeper meaning, okay, and it's iridescent both in wings and body showing how much they can transform. So this is why they asked me to, to look it up right now. Because you have just been through a major transformation, okay? This is what they're saying. This is you. This is you, Pisces. You are the dragonfly, okay? Dragonfly, butterflies, transformation, beautiful, okay? And with help from spirit. Always, always, always. I'm going to put it with the four of feathers again because I feel that... I feel that it needs to be put in there, that you really need to be quiet. It doesn't necessarily mean you need to go to bed, but sometimes I remember when I would go through a major thing and I was working outside the home, I would go to work, but I'd stay very quiet, okay? I tried to do a lot of big pockets of quiet through the day so that I could just re-energize, okay? Yeah, right. Okay, so the star didn't come out in this reading, but it did come out in the charms. And this is saying that you have been illuminated, okay? And you will renew. It is the ultimate card of renewal. And I find that the star in this case is the same, okay? You need to renew. You need to take the time to two feathers here. We'll put that there as well. Okay, so that you can keep going. So that you can... Go to your next challenge, okay? And then we get to the dragon. And there you go. Slaying that dragon. That's exactly what I'm getting from this, okay? So, you are the knight of feathers, okay? The knight of swords. You're going to take action. You're going to shoot off like a dart when it is time. And like a shot, like they say. But you're going to go slay your dragons very soon. Or you may take it as you have slayed your dragons. Okay? But either way, you are ready. You will be ready for your new challenge very soon.
there is no problem. I'm going to put this with uh, this beautiful Tree of Life. Oh, with this, the stability and attainment. The Tree of Life, when it comes out, always makes me feel that you are aligning. I feel that the tree, if you look at it, it is so perfectly made. It bends in the wind. It, it, it adapts to the environment that it's in. And did you notice that certain trees grow certain places? Okay, the only time that trees are out of place is when humans move them to a place that they don't belong. But the vegetation, especially in trees, they grow where their environment is suitable for them. And then they start contributing to that environment, okay? Whether it is the fruit that they bear, whether it is the oxygen that they release, whether and they take from the ground what's already provided from the planet, okay? They are so aligned and in tune, okay, with, with Earth, with here. They are the best example of who we should try to be. We should always try to align, never take more than what is needed, and always give back, okay? And provide, okay? Provide shade, provide fruit, uh, the fruit of our labors, helping other people. You know, that's, if you, if you start looking at the metaphors of that, you will see just how wonderful the Tree of Life is. It means so much. And it means even more as you grow older. You want the next generation to live this way, okay? Never mind all of what you see or what you've seen before. The rich 1%. The people who are greedy and powerful and take from everybody. We're done with that. That is all. That's done. That is so yesterday's news and it needs to stay there. It needs to be a footnote in history. We need to rebuild the society and be something so much better. Okay? Ah, thank you so much. Now I'm going to be quiet for another hour, two hours myself. <laughs> and uh, yes, take care of yourself. I wish you all the love and light and blessings, Pisces. I think you're fabulous. Thank you so much for your support means a lot to me. Everything means a lot to me. And and I see that comment sections and you guys, I don't know, I don't know, must get the very best of the planet right now. And I'm very grateful to you. Very grateful to you. Take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic day. And I will see you in the next reading.